Hello everybody, welcome back to Buzzard Truth. I am Buzzard. Uh, on my seed Sundays, I always say the let 10% go to seed. That should give you enough seed to share, trade, barter, etc. Well, this is a good example of it. Um, I had a very good friend of mine call me up and ask me if I wanted some seeds. And you know me, I ain't going to turn down those seeds. <laughs> anyway, she asked and I offered the same, you know, see what she needed and what I needed. And in the process, we done a little bit of, a little bit of trading and We both got seeds that we needed, seeds that we didn't have before. But she went above and beyond because she gave me some seeds that I really needed to get. And this is seeds for a medical herb garden. Some of the things I got is wormwood. Uh, Calum, calamine, calamine, cal, no, camellia, I can't say the word, uh, Roman, it's like the T, cannot pronounce it, also got the same thing, but German, uh, his, uh, his sip, I think it's, or high sip, high sip, <laughs> anyway, got some of them and then some self self heal now self heal is something that I really wanted to get uh, done a little research right off the top of my head I'd have to go through my books to look and find it and she asked if there was anything that I really wanted that I didn't have and I the only thing I could think of was elderberry and she had an elderberry. So, she cut me off a deal of a stem of elderberry and even gave me some root and hormone. So what I'll do is probably cut it here, somewhere in here, probably someone in, somewhere in here, and maybe here. Try to get several plants. Well, she had to go by and they're having their dog trained, so they had to take him to training. And I think it's from the lady that does the training. She was telling how she's bringing me some elderberry. And the lady went and dug up a root of elderberry. So now I'm going to hopefully have several elderberries. I'm going to have... I'll be able to grow some medical herbs and a couple of them uh, if I remember correctly like wormwood was good for parasites intestinal paras intestinal parasites so I need to do all my research on these get it wrote down in the books now that I probably will do a section in a book for medical herbs and now to another guy um, his YouTube channel is the Texas Outlaw Michael and I'll probably say his last name wrong Sins it's S-E-E-N-Z I'll put it, I'll pin it in the description. He lives up in Illinois, and his father's health is not real good. And his uncle's health down in, I believe, Dallas, Texas, or in that area, his health is not doing good. Um, he's, if I remember correct, probably uh, or has uh, dementia or something like that. Anyway, Michael is trying, he's got a GoFundMe, 
and he's trying to raise enough money that he'll be able to move down there with his dad, so his dad and his uncle, they haven't seen each other, but seen each other in like 10 years, and he'll be able to help his dad and his uncle in, in their times of need. So, I already okayed it through him, and I want to offer a little bonus for, let's say, whoever donates the most. So what I'm going to, what I'm offering, let's see if I can turn this down just a little bit, is... His biggest donation, I will ship eighty plus packs of seeds. Uh, just a, a whole bunch. Everyone knows how many seeds I got and stuff. So, and oh, and that was another thing. She also brung, these are some of the things, some of the seeds she brung me that I didn't have. But, it's a pretty good variety. Um, lots of beans, hops, some timothy grass, uh, lentils, corn, a couple of different varieties of corn, some alfalfa. And the reason I add the alfalfa and like the timothy grass well, I don't know about the alfalfa, but the timothy grass is good for your rabbits if you're raising rabbits. Uh, let's see what these are. Purple stringless green green beans. Carrot strips. Now, this is a good ideal because carrots are so small. And this is 22.5 feet of tape. There'll be three of them in there. Uh, like I said, I've got a big variety, so if you would, lost my card. Oh. if you would, go down in the description, go over to his YouTube channel, Dom Buzzard sent you, and if you can, go to his GoFundMe, and donate a little bit, every little bit helps. And he's going to get in contact with me on his biggest uh, donor, contributor, however you want to put it, and get their information. Now, it'll be closer, it'll probably be whenever he reaches his goal. His, I think he changed it, but his goal was pretty high, and he sprung it down. So, he's going to notify me. And give me the information to where I can mail his biggest donor a box of seeds. And it's quite a few seeds. Like I said, it's 80 packs or 80 plus packs. Now like on the carrots, of course there's three of them. I don't remember if I counted them as one or if I counted all three. But still... It's a lot of seeds. Ballpark, I would say two to four hundred dollars worth of seeds. Ballpark. Don't hold me to that. Now you can go through and add them up and see what you got. <laughs> and let me know if you do that. But please head over to his channel. Tell him Buzzard sent you. Or, yeah. And if you can. Even if it's a dollar, it every little bit will help him, and I can I can understand. Oh, oh, I thought it quit recording, and I can understand you know how he feels and stuff. I I was lucky enough that uh, my parents live closer to me, and you know I could go see you know if there was an emergency or something like that. I was able to get to them pretty easily, but. Go over and check it out. I think he's also selling some of his lead that he has. 
or selling it or giving it away. I don't remember which one. Uh, I think he's giving it away for for donations to the people that donate. <coughs> but head over there. <coughs> Check out his GoFundMe. It's for a really good cause. I feel it's for a really good cause. Like I said, I can understand where he's going. Head over there. If you can't afford to donate more, like I said, the biggest contributor or whatever, I'll let him decide that. But I'll you stand a chance of getting a bunch of seeds. Anyway, remember, only dead fish follow the flow of the stream. Don't be a dead fish. This is Buzzard. See ya.